Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Ocarina of Time 3 Heart Challenge. So in the last episode we went to the top of the mountain and learned our spin attack. Went to go see the Great Fairy's friend over in Hyrule Castle Town to grab Din's fire. And then returned, or actually came to Zoro's Domain for the first time. Found a bottle with a note from Princess Ruto and got access back here to Lord Jabu Jabu. And here we are now. So we're going to be heading inside of Lord Jabu Jabu. And find out what happened with Princess Ruto. So here we go. Eat up, fishy. Or bigger fishy. Eat the smaller fishy. Get in my belly. Uh-oh. How can a single fish fill you up? I mean, that's like having a breath mint. Alright, guys. Dungeon number three. Inside Jabu Jabu's belly. Oh, boy. Okay. Let's do our best here and see if we can get through this with minimal... Nope. Okay, let's... Got one. Number two, okay. Okay, I'm gonna do my best to try to avoid- oh, I need the bombs, though. Um, mm, there we go. Okay, I'm gonna try to avoid those guys at all costs, because I know they do crazy damage. And I'm trying not to waste my Deku Seeds on them. Oh... Oh, Jesus, guy. There we go. Now I'm gonna do my best not to have to use the Deku Nuts on them, just because it's gonna run. I'm gonna run out of ammo pretty quick. But it is a safe way to get through them. Okay, and here we go. That's a bunch of. Hello, Princess Ruto. How are you doing? You? Who are you? I am Ruto, Princess of the Zoras. What? Are you saying my father asked you to come here to save me? I'd never ask anyone to do such a thing. Letter in a bottle? I have no idea what you're talking about. My father's worried about me. I don't care. Anyways, I can go home right now, and you get out of here, understand? Hmm. Wow. Someone's a little sundry. Oh no. Okay, we're good. Hello there. Are you still hanging around here? I told you to go away. I'm okay. I've been going inside Lord Jabu Jabu's belly since I was little. But Lord Jabu Jabu is very strange today. There are electrified jellyfish in strange holes around. On top of that, my precious stone was... But that's none of your business anyway. You go home. Now, understand? You're that worried about me? Then I will give you the honor of carrying me. However... I won't leave until I find the thing I'm looking for. You better believe me. Alright, here we go. So, in case no one caught that little line of dialogue, she never wrote that letter we found in the bottle, even though it was signed by her. Shoot. Okay, let's pause and try to take care of these guys. Keep missing. Uh, I hate these things. They scare me. Okay, so the nuts will knock them out. But, so there was a bottle that got left at the bottom of the lake with Ruto's name on it, telling, basically alluding and telling Link where she is and what he has to do to get there. But she never wrote it. And there's a running hypothesis that it was actually Ganondorf who wrote that and left it there specifically to cause Link to go find this area and get the uh, spiritual stone from her. Because at the end of the day, Ganondorf's entire plan in the first half of the game is to allow Link to do all the work for him. So he wants Link to find all this stuff. Right? Where is it? Ah, shoot. Okay, let go. This is going to be a dangerous area, I can tell. I'm already running low on... Ah, uh, crap. Okay. Okay. 
shoot. Okay, that one's down. Come on, pop up. Pop up. Oh my god, yes. Alright, perfect. Thank god those things dropped some seeds. Whew. Alright. Let's go ahead. No, 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 no. No, 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 Oh, that's not what I was trying to do. Crap, I'm gonna have to clear this room again. Okay, let's give this another shot. Oops, I don't want that. Come on. Please drop some. Come on. Drop some more seeds there, buddy. I am running low. I don't care about the stingers. I know what they are. Okay. Come on. Grab her. Grab her. Come, oh, come on. Is this going to do this? Is this really going to do this? Because I tossed her right on top of the switch, I had... Alright, guys, we're going to skip to where we get this taken care of. Alright, here we go. I love how this one room basically took me throughout my entire... Supplies. I have no ammo now. Oh, I guess I gotta be extra careful. Oh, shoot. Actually, let me try this. Yes, it worked. So you can actually throw Rudo into those switches and conserve ammo. Alright, we made it. Oh, shoot. Drop her. There we go. There we go. Alright, so we made it up to this point. So we're like a third of the way through the dungeon now. Okay, the only dangerous part in this room is that one uh, little jellyfish that's going to drop down from the ceiling right here, but I'm pretty sure we can just sneak in past. Yep, right. There we go. These guys, we can just run straight past. This switch, it doesn't look like you can press it down with your weight alone, Link. Oh, really? Well, look at that. I just pushed it down with my weight alone. Boom. Drop it. Oh, great. Let's see if throwing a bomb will get them to come out of the ground. Nice. Yeah, let's just do this. I don't think I'm going to use bombs too much in this dungeon, so I don't mind using them. I know this is not how you were supposed to do it, but I'm trying to conserve ammo. Oh, oh, oh! Seeds! Seeds! Oh, oh boy. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Okay, we got our first treasure chest. I'm not sure if this is the boomerang here or just the dungeon map. So that's going to make this entire thing a million times easier. All right, Ruto, let's go. Get off your booty. All right, we're just going to run past these guys because trying to 
get into a uh, struggle with them is just a waste of time and a waste of health. Alright, I'm sorry about this, Ruto, but you will have to hang out here for a second. Maybe it's just me, but I don't think the interior of a uh, fish's belly looks anything like this. Okay, come on down. Whoop. Shoot. Come on down, and there we go. And come on down again, and back. One more time. There is tentacle little... Whatever those things are, number one. Haha! -ha. Dungeon map time. Yay, we got the map. Okay. So now we got two more rooms of these bad boys, and we will be done. And yes, she is going to yell at us. I know, I know. You're mad that we left you all by yourself. Yes, the red slime thing is gone. Thank you, Navi. I noticed this as well. Thank you so much, though. Yay, more seeds. Oh, gosh. I'll tell you what I'm not looking forward to is the little mini fight with um that giant Octorok. Because Baronade is pretty easy to get through. That Octorok is very touchy. Alright. Hold on, let's get more seeds. And we're maxed out. Okay. We're good on that ammo. Um, I think I may go down at some point. And buy some Deku Nuts from that little um, business scrub. Oh, I can't go into that one yet. Uh, stay away from me. Stay away from me. There we go. Because he will give me a bunch of um, Deku Nuts, and that'll really help. Oh, shoot. And come down. There we go. Nice. One more, and we are ready to begin our head straight towards the mini boss, which actively terrifies me. Ooh, we got a bunch of little guys running around here, too. That one's down. Let's take out all the ads first, and then work our way through here. Oh, oh, that was close. Alright, let's go grab Ruto and continue onwards. But I will say that the interior of Jabu Jabu looks a lot better than um, the interior of Monstro in Kingdom Hearts. That one, I don't know how you got that weird acid trip looking purple, green, blue color scheme that they had going on in there. This one at least it looks like fleshy colors. And let's go down. Ignore the skull tulas and let's get in here. That's it. That's what I've been looking for. Throw me up there onto the platform. Ooh, that's a pretty stone. Princess Rudo got the spiritual stone, but why, Princess Rudo? Oh my goodness, I finally found my mother's stone. I got very upset when Lord Jabu Jabu swallowed it. While I was feeding him, he suddenly swallowed me. I was so surprised, I dropped it inside. But now that I found it, I don't need to be in here anymore. So take me home right now. Okay. Oh no! 
Kia, what is this? An octopus? Oh dear me. Oh, it's gonna keep coming! Ah, uh, crap. Ah, uh, I hate this fight. This fight is so freaking dangerous. Okay. Okay, he's gonna stop and do a little bit of a spin. Spin, 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 spin. Go! There we go. It really comes down to perfect timing when he does the spin. Nope. Not this way. Dude! Cut your crap. There we go. Perfect. I think it has to do with the distance you are from it, and... Oh, two strikes. Perfect. Whew. Okay, I'm gonna breathe a sigh of relief. Alright, what do we got up here? Thank you, nuts. Hello, fairy. I don't need you, but I do appreciate you being here. Okay, guys, I'm gonna need to pause it real quick. I will be right back. So we just got a few more rooms and we are out of here. Okay, let's take out the Octorok first just so we can stay safe. Shoot! Oh, that was close. I honestly thought that hit me. Come on, guys, we're about to get our first flawless run. Our first flawless dungeon. Let's do this. Oh. Run. That one's about to turn back into a wee, uh, little flinging sponge thingy. Oh, boy. Okay. Hop across and down. Perfect. Yeah, I, I know it's a jellyfish. Evil jellyfish. Okay, so we're pretty much maxed out in our ammo. We're gonna be good to go. Do, 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 do. Okay. Let's go ahead and take out all these little guys first so we have no risk of taking damage and then we'll climb up the vines. Which I'm worried why there's thorns and vines inside this guy's belly. That sounds like a medical issue you really need to get taken care of there, buddy. Okay, I'm gonna ignore that gold scatula for the time being. Okay, drop that wall. There you go. Good job. Shoot. Make it. There we go. Nope. Climb down very slowly because I don't know if there's going to be any fall damage from this height. Fingers crossed. If we can pull this off with no damage, I will be happy as can be. I'll be giggling. You look at that big jellyfish looking thing. Bioelectric anemone baronade. trick to this fight, always run in circles and never stop moving. Oh, 
Ouch! Oh, that was too close. Back up. Shoot. Back up. There we go. There's one. No, I'm more concerned with these guys than I am with the main body of this. Okay, that one's down. Yeah, I know, that's part of it. Boom. Boom. Perfect. Oh no, and it was just summoning more. Shoot, okay. Shoot! Why did I stop moving? Target that direction, there we go. Oh my, I'm failing at life. No, move! Uh, camera. I'm looking at you, camera. Shoot. Okay, we got the second phase of that down. Alright. Let's just walk around in circles. From here, just don't stop moving ever and they'll never hit you. Come on. Get closer. Oh gosh. Start to rise up there, buddy. And boom, there we go. Perfect. We got through with only one heart's worth of damage, so we did okay, I guess. Why are you all red in the face there, Rudo? You! You're late! What took you so long? You're useless. I was just lonely, that's all. Just a little. Ah, uh, Sunduri, little girl. So that dungeon wasn't too bad. Whoa! Too close! Too close! That was a little bit creepy, Rudo, just letting you know. You notice how Link's nose never goes above the level of the water, so he can't breathe right now, just letting you know. You, you looked cool. Cooler than I thought you would anyway, just a little. Well, anyway, you saved me, so I guess I'll reward you. What do you wish? Just tell me. I want the spiritual stone, darn it. You mean the spiritual stone of water, Zora Sapphire, don't you? My mother gave it to me and said I should give it only to the man who will be my husband. You might call it the Zora's engagement ring. Alright, I'll give you my most precious possession, Zora Sapphire. And there we go! Spiritual Stone number two. Number two. I actually had a friend of mine whose um, engagement ring was actually the Zora Sapphire when she got it. It was really cute. Her most precious possession. You don't know what she's talking about. But you finally collected all three spiritual stones. Go back to see Princess Zelda. 
Don't tell my father. Well, that is that. We pulled it off, we got all three stones, and now we're getting ready to head back to the Temple of Time so we can get into the hard part of the game. I am not looking forward to this. Um, so I have a feeling that my death counter is finally going to start dinging a lot more frequently from here on forward. Maybe not next episode, but the one after that when we get into the Forest Temple. So we're going to leave this off for today, guys. And I'll see you back in the next episode right out in front of the Temple of Time. So take it easy, y'all. Bye.